The Story of Malaria by David Johnson and Kevin Malani. Hello, my children. As young mosquitoes about to explore the real world, there's one last thing that you must know. Now I'm sure your mom and pops have told you the whole birds and the bees story and where babies come from. But I have something here that will make you squirm in your seat. Clown Pappy, even more gross than the union of a sperm and an egg? Oh, 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 yes, little one, even more disturbing than that. I gathered all you young ones here today to tell you about a eukaryotic protist that lives amongst us, called malaria. As Anopheles mosquitoes, we are the only ones that carry this malaria parasite, which kills millions of humans per year. Since females are the only ones that take a blood meal to nourish their eggs, this parasite can only be found in them. So boys, you lucked out. Anyways, let's learn more about this malaria. Female mosquitoes ingest the malaria parasite by taking a blood meal from an infected human carrier. Once ingested, the malaria gametocytes fuse into male or female gametes in the mosquito gut. This eventually produces an oocyst that lodges in the gut wall. Over time, the oocyst ruptures and releases malaria sporozoids that migrate through the mosquito body and into the salivary glands. Here, they are ready to be injected into the next human host. In the human host, the sporozoids enter the bloodstream from the salivary glands and migrate to the liver. They infect liver cells where the sporozoids grow into merozoids. The merozoids rupture the liver cells and move to the bloodstream. In the blood, the merozoids infect erythrocytes where the parasites multiply further, periodically breaking out of the red blood cells and infecting new ones. Some of these merozoids develop into male and female gametocytes, which are taken up in the next blood meal by a female mosquito and the cycle continues. In the old days, these humans had no idea what was happening to them. They knew little about protection and allowed us to breed in their standing water within their villages. The poor humans had no medicine and did not even know how they were being infected. After biting the humans, this malaria parasite would create waves of fever, chills, and sometimes kill the human host. Sadly, the old, the young, and the weak would often die from this malaria. At some point, young ones, the humans got smart and figured out that they were getting the malaria from us Anopheles mosquitoes. They started to clean up the standing puddles of water, use pesticides, and mosquito nets at night. These people in the villages got bitten less, had lower rates of malaria, and had healthier children. At first, we Anopheles mosquitoes were outraged at the cunning of these humans, the source of our daily blood meal. But after a while, we realized that we would have done the same to protect our living ones and our young ones. So we moved to another area. Now you listen closely, young ones, and don't forget this. Do not let the other mosquitoes out there, the Aedes, the Abrades, the Allenstonia, the Polylepidomia, the Cruzmia, the limitus, or the microculex mosquitoes tell you that you are different because of this malaria parasite. You are no different from them. You are all mosquitoes, proboscis, hemolymph, wings, and all. Your role in the malaria life cycle is as a vector. The parasite does not harm you, it just uses your body to be transferred from one host to another. Now, after knowing the knowledge of the birds and the bees and where babies come from, and the story of malaria, you are now ready to go and venture out into this world. Go, my children. Go explore the world around you. Mate, procreate, and feed. Go, my children. Go! Shall I say, think back 20 